Hello, everybody, troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day, girl. It is Saturday, and we are here ready to take the weekend by the storm. I'm going out later. I'm going crazy. I'm partying today, and I am just gonna, I don't know. I'm, girl, I told you yesterday. This is a weekend to have fun, okay? So lean into that. That is your signal from God right now to tell you, call your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your whatever, your situationship, and be like, bitch, we are getting ready. We are going out for cocktails, dancing, and do a whole night out. Well, let me know in the comments below if you end up doing any of this, all right? I want to welcome every single one of you. If you are new here, welcome to the Verily Troop where we keep it very real and we spill all the tea and mention it all, all the time. So if you want to know what is going on in the Bravo verse, the pop culture the streets, the reality TVs, you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this mess. Girl. Okay, I did a whole rant yesterday when I realized that Brandy Glanville has been going wrong and honestly, like, making an ass of herself with the stupidest claim ever that Andy Cohen sexually harassed her, you know, by uh, doing a, a phone call with Kate Chastain and saying something around like, uh, uh, like I want you to like uh, watch me have sex with, with, with her or something like that, you know? Pure stupid bullshit. Like, girl, if you are going to be suing a gay man for saying a stupid sexual thing, then I think every single gay man in the world will be sued, okay? Like, it's just like the stupidest, stupidest thing that she could have ever done in her life. I think this is even more stupid than when Nini Leaks uh, tried to sue Bravo or whatever over the whole racist thing, you know, which was a hundred times more valid than this shit. But, well, whatever, you know, go and watch that video if you want to know, like, everything that is going on. But now, I wanted to know because Brandy Glanville, the whole situation, yesterday we talked about that portion only, you know, like, oh, the, the, the video, you know, and everything, but Brandy Glanville, actually, she's threatening to sue, uh, and, but she's not suing, I mean, initially Andy Cohen, it's like a, a big lawsuit against Bravo and NBC, you know, I told you guys, it is very clear what she's trying to do, so the thing is, her lawyers sent a letter, right and in this letter was a lot of like all of these um things with andy and all of that and i think what she's trying to do is basically saying well is if bravo is not going to protect me against me being me and being funny you know and being drunk and whatever and doing what i did with caroline manso which was supposedly was very innocent then I'm going to be doing the same to Andy Cohen. So Bravo knows that there is no difference and Bravo or NBC should be backing up Brandy. That's what I think it's behind all of this because she's not even saying it, which it makes like if, if she said this from the beginning, it will be very different, you know, but I think that this is what is going on. So now um, I wanted to, to, to you know, to uh, talk to you about what exactly is going on. Okay. So it says Brandy Glanville is putting Bravo Parents Company and others on notice that she is prepared to take them to court over this whole girl strip drama. She's being roped into and lays out her grievances in no uncertain terms in a letter that her attorney just fired off. The Real Housewife star has lawyered up with the likes of Mark Gerard, Ger, Gerardo, Gerard, oh shit, how, Gerages, Gerages, or whatever. And Brian Friedman, big shot lawyers in Hollywood, and they sent NBC Universal a demand letter on Thursday that threatens a lawsuit on behalf of their clients. So the lawsuit has not been filed yet, okay? 
and they are telling the network to preserve all potential evidence as Brandy prepares for what could be a messy, messy legal battle. The letter uh, spells out exactly why Brandy is considering suing here. And according to her legal team, she feels like she's being chewed up and spit out by Bravo and all other parties involved in producing and airing a show that makes them millions. They are a strong writing. Over the past year, Ms. Glanville has been subject to a vicious media campaign based on false allegations of sexual misconduct. The false narrative which NBC and Shed Media have apparently decided to foment arises from Miss Glanville's experience on Ultimate Girls Trip Morocco. Her attorneys add, while the experience has been a nightmare for Miss Glanville, it is far from the first time Miss Gla Glanville has been used and abused by NBC, Bravo, Warner Bros. and Shed Media. Indeed, Ms. Glanville has long been taken advantage of by the institution with which she is in the in the naval type personally, professionally, financially, and in the public mind. Brandy's lawyers claim that while she's been loyal to NBC Universal over the years, she's only received mistreatments in return, including the, la the latest saga with fellow housewife Caroline Manso, who received suit who recently sued Bravo claiming she was the victim of sexual misconduct from Brandy during the filming of Girl Street Morocco, but Brandy Glanville defend herself here. Long story short, Brandy's attorneys say that Caroline's narrative of being forcibly kissed and grabbed by Brandy during the filming of that show was actually consensual. With Brandy's team, claiming Caroline was inviting that sort of behavior, which she also alleged was facilitated and even encouraged by producers during the filming. Her attorneys characterize her role in all this one of a sacrificial lamb, and they say Brandy isn't going to take it anymore. So she's telling Bravo and co to get ready to go to battle. Okay, this is what... This is this is what I think, you know. I agree that Brandy has been used by them, by Bravo and NBC on several times. However, I also believe that everything has come from the thirstiness of Brandy Glanville, you know. So I feel that if you like I don't know if she believed that the network will, will like always have her best interest of what she was trying to do. But I, what I do think is that Brandy never really let go of this thirstiness for fame and money, you know. And if you can see, first, she was blaming Lisa Vanderpump. For years, she was like, Lisa Vanderpump ruined my life. Lisa Vanderpump did all of these things to me. She blacklisted me everywhere. You know, you, you guys remember that? Now she's not even mentioning Lisa Vanderpump because now she wants to say it's Bravo. Now she wants to say it's Universal. And what I'm thinking is that every single time that they gave them, that they gave her a choice of returning to the show, she was like, yes. I will jump right now. I will do whatever you want me to do. Just put me in front of the camera. Let's remember when she returned to the Real Houses of Beverly Hills. She didn't have to come here and manipulate all the narrative to call out Denise Richards and the whole threesome situation. You know, and she did a whole shit back then because remember that at the end of the day, yes, they used her for that storyline, but then they, they didn't bring her back or anything, right? And I I believe it's because of things like this, you know. Look at what happened with Ultimate Gold Strip 2 and, uh, between her and Marco, you know. She gets too excited and she thinks that, you know, all these people are their friends when they're not. And I think she has not been, like, really smart about it, you know. So, yes, there is a little bit of truth. I do agree that there is a little bit of truth of Bravo 
you know, or, or Universal or, or I don't know. I don't know which one is which one, you know, or the production company or whatever, you know, uh, using her. You know, because Brandy is the kind of person who will say yes to whatever, who will do whatever, you know, it takes to create good, re good reality TV, you know. But then when there is consequences, then she's like, oh, no, no, no. It was the producers. It was all the other people around me. And that's the part that I get a little bit confused. You know, she needs to be a little bit more upfront into saying, you know what? Yes, I wanted to be back on TV. You know, of course. I mean, do you think? Of course they have conversations with producers. I mean, that's the whole thing. This should not be a surprise to absolutely anyone because this is how reality TV works. Do you think that Brandy is gonna call a producer and tell her, hey man, so I have a threesome with uh, Denise Richards. I, I, I'm sorry, I have a, a lesbian affair with Denise Richards, you know, and I think you might use that. Do you think that a producer is gonna say like, mm, no, sorry. They have a show to produce, of course. You know, of course, they're going to take advantage of that, you know, but they can, what happened? Brandy is the one also being messy and being right there in the middle. So this lawsuit, to me, it's a little bit dumb. And she is digging her own hole by doing this because no one is going to want to work with her anymore because of her thirstiness, because of the bad way that she's doing all of this. Maybe she's going after coins, who knows, you know? But coming after Andy Coin with a stupid video and a stupid joke, that's the stupidest thing that I have ever seen, you know? And then, um, uh, uh, yeah, I, I mean, look. That's where we are, that's where I am right now, okay? I have support Brandy through the whole Caroline thing because I do believe that Brandy is right when it comes to Caroline Manso, especially for the things that I hear before, you know? But what I do not like is Brandy now taking this approach with NBC, with Bravo, you know? I think before doing this, she should have to have some kind of like serious conversation with these people. But now putting it out there on this place for the press, the media, the bloggers, absolutely everyone talking about this, she's fucked, you know? No one is gonna want to work with her. And it's her own fault, you know? It is her own fault. And uh, I don't think there is any base. I don't think, I don't see how she's gonna win any of this because nothing is really going on, you know? What, what, are, what are, I mean, she's gonna say like, they took advantage of me. Um, Bitch, you were the one there. You were the one getting drunk. You were the one touching people. You were the one kissing people. You want to talk about sexual harassment by Andy Cohen? Have you seen the pictures of Brandy Glanby licking Andy Cohen's face and Andy being visibly upset? Should Andy Cohen then sue her for sexual harassment? You know what I mean? I mean, it's the dumbest thing ever. I don't know. So anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think on uh, the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to this bravo mess brandy let me know and don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye